Hi kids, let's have a quick look at question number 16 on your past paper question pack. So let's read it first. It says OAN, OMB and APB are straight lines. AN equals to OA. And we're going to have to annotate that probably. M is the midpoint of OB. It's also telling us that OA is equal to A. So I'm going to just do this. And OB is equal to B. So the whole thing is B. Um, and I have to, I've done that, I've done that. I need to go back and annotate AN because it tells me AN is 2OA. So OA is A, 2OA is 2A. So that bit can be 2A. Okay, it says that AP equals KAB where K is a scalar quantity. Given that MPN is a straight line, find the value of K. Okay, so um, like I told you guys, whenever you're stuck with a vector question, just start working out the vectors that you can work out. And I'm going to start by working out AB. So AB is equal to AO plus OB. So AB is equal to minus A plus B. Great. Now, um, it's giving us this information here that MPN is a straight line. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to work out the whole line. And so MN, and I'm going to start by doing that. And then I'm going to work out <coughs> part of the line, which is MP. And I know that MN is going to be a multiple of MP, and I'm going to see how I can apply that. But let's start with MN. So MN is equal to MO plus OA plus AP. Oh no, so we're going MN. I've gone the wrong way. I was always going straight for the kill. <laughs> so that's plus OA plus AN. Okay, cool. So MN is equal to, so this uh, MO, I'm going against the arrow, so I know it's going to be a negative number. The whole line is B, so that bit is going to be half B. And then I have to add OA, which is A, and AN, which is 2A. If I simplify that, I get that MN is equal to 3A minus half B. Great, so I've got MN. Now let's work out MP. So MP is equal to, again, MO plus OA, and in this case, plus AP. And the question is telling us that AP is uh, KAB. So AP is K. A, B. So I'm going to start putting in some A's and B's in there. So M, on we said before, that's minus half B. O, A is A. And then I've got this A, B. We said here is K, A, B. So I'm going to say plus K. And then A, B, I worked it out already. It's minus A plus B. So I'm going to expand and simplify. So I'm copying my minus half B plus A. Then multiplying by K, I get minus KA plus KB. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect like terms. Uh, rather, I'm going to factorize actually. So I'm going to factorize the terms in A. So MP, because I want to work out what's the number in front of the A, basically, the constant. Uh, so I'm going to take a common factor of A, and inside the bracket, then I'd have 1 minus K. And then I'm going to take a common factor of minus B, and inside the bracket, I'm going to have... Uh, half 
minus k. And you notice that I've flipped the sign of the numbers I was working with. So here and here, because when I multiply out by minus b, then I'm going to uh, get my signs back. So I'm going to get my minus half b and plus kb if I was to do the expand the bracket again. Cool. Um, what I'm going to do just because, just because, <laughs> I'm going to write these again, but I'm going to put the a and the b at the back of the bracket. So I'm going to say 1 minus k, a, and then minus bracket half minus k, b. So now I know that I've got a number in front of the a, and I've got a number in front of the b. Wonderful. So let's have a look now at the multiple of this line. So at mn. I know that I've got a 3 here in front of the a and a minus half in front of the b. And I also know the fact that if I multiply mp by a number, so if I say x times mp, I'm going to get the whole line, which is mn. Because we know parts of a line are multiples of each other. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the multiplication. So I'm going to take my x, which I just introduced, it's a number, and I'm going to multiply that by the number in front of the a for mp, even if that's a, an algebraic term, so I don't really care. And I know that if I do that, I'm going to get an answer of 3. And then I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to still take my x. And I'm going to multiply that by the number in front of the b for mp. So that's going to be, can't forget my minus there, half minus k. And I know that if I do that multiplication, if I find my number and I multiply this bracket by that number, I'm going to get minus half, which is here. Great. So we've got an equation in two unknowns. It's like a simultaneous equation. What I'm going to do now is just going to expand and solve. So um, I'm looking at the first one and the second one. So the first equation, I'm going to move to the top left. So x times 1 is x. And x times minus k is xk or kx, whatever you want to call it. And that equals to 3. And then I've got um, x and a minus. So minus x times half. I'm getting minus half x. And then minus x times minus k. I'm getting a plus um, xk. Let's do the letters in the same order. And that equals to minus a half. All right, so simultaneous equation, which is nice. I'll get a bit of recap on that. I'm checking my terms out, and I'm noticing that I've got these two that can be cancelled out. So I need to decide, am I going to add this or am I going to take it away? They've got different signs, so they already cancel each other out. So I need to add, add, and add. So this is where you guys are not really happy because <laughs> we're working with fractions. But what can we do, eh? So we're doing 1x minus half x. So 1 minus a half, you get left with positive half. So half x. The These ones cancel out. That's why we did it. And then 3 plus minus, that means it's a 3 minus. So 3 minus a half is uh, 2.5, isn't it? I'm going to write it as a fraction. So 2.5 is the same as 5 over 2. So I'm going to end up having to multiply now. No, sorry, to divide. So I'm dividing by a half. So 5 over 2 divided by a half. 
which is the same as multiplying by 2. So that's 5 over 2 times 2. We can cross these out. Well, they cancel out, that's why we cross them out, it's not just because we're insane. Uh, so we get an answer of x equals to 5. That's not what we want though, but we are just a little bit closer to what we do want, which is the value of k. So we can choose whichever equation we want. I f to substitute the value of x in. I think I'm going to take that one, the one I highlighted. So x minus xk equals to 3, because I'm not particularly fond of fractions, and it's a non-calculated paper. So um, I now know x equals to 5, so I'm going to substitute in there. So I'm going to say 5 minus... 5k equals to 3. I take away 5 from both sides and I get that minus 5k equals to minus 2. And I divide both sides by minus 5, so I get that k is equal to 2 fifths, which also happens to be our answer. So hopefully this method uh, makes a bit more sense than what I showed you guys in class. Um, I do have a clip of how I showed you in class if you were there for that lesson and I might put that up um, as well. So I'm going to try to do a couple of more questions on vectors um, tomorrow probably. So keep an eye out. Uh, good luck with revision anyway and I'll see you soon. Bye.